Hey, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the website BioDigital to come up with some really cool images that you might need for a project or something that you're working on. You want to explain some anatomy or learn some anatomy yourself. So we're going to go to BioDigital.com and that'll bring you to this page right here. I'm going to click here for individuals start now. There's a business version that's paid and different things, but everything I show you in this video is going to be the free version. I'm going to continue with Google here and choose my Google account. And that'll take me to this page right here. Now there's lots of cool stuff on this website, but most of these things down here are under the paid version. What I'm going to show you though is on the free version and we're going to go to complete anatomy. And that'll take us to two options. We can choose female or male. And for this, I'm going to choose male, but you can choose either one. And that's going to load this image right here. And it'll take a while depending on your internet connection speed because it's adding in all of the different systems and all the different organs within those systems into this image that we can then rotate around and look at. There's all these tools down in the bottom right. And I'm going to take you through all those tools. First, I'm going to go to full screen so I can see uh, more stuff here. And then um, I'm going to show you these 3D tools first. So if I click this, um, this opens up different tools. Now let's say that at some point the model gets off my screen and I'm like, where did it go? I need it back really quickly. I can just click recenter 3D model and that brings the model back. I can also zoom out here and zoom in. You can also use a scroll wheel or use your two fingers on the trackpad to scroll um, to zoom in and out. Um, if I just click with the mouse or trackpad and, and drag, it'll rotate the model around and I can rotate it up and down like this to get different cool views of the model. Um, if I want to move something left or right or up or down, I can click this switch to pan mode. Then I can just click and drag. And instead of rotating, it'll just pan up or down or left and right. Now, another way to do that, if you've got a way to do an alternate click, such as a right click or a two finger click or something like that, you can use that alternate click method in order to pan and you can use your regular click to rotate. But if you don't have a way to do that, you can always use the switch to pan mode right there. All right, I'm going to lower those controls and show you some other controls down here. So I'm going to open the Explore Tools. And this is one of the coolest parts. You can click here where it says Hide, and then anything that you click will be removed. It's kind of like you're going through and doing a dissection and removing these parts of the body. And so I want to see some structures underneath. Let's say that I wanted to see um, the thyroid gland, for example. I can click and rotate. I can zoom in a little bit, and I can start removing structures to get down to whatever gland or organ I'm interested in seeing. Now that's the hide tool. There's also another cool tool called the fade. So let's say that I want to remove an organ or really I want to see through an organ, but I don't want it to be removed completely. Like I want to know that it's there, but I want to be able to see through it, make it transparent. Well, I can click the fade button and then I can start to fade away some of these muscles or other things that are maybe in the way. And then you can still see the outline of them there. And I can show that maybe about the bicep muscle here. Now see, I can see through that bicep muscle but I can still see it's there. It's just faded away like that. All right. Um, and then if you ever need to undo something, there's an undo and a redo button down right there. You can also hide something that you faded. So I faded that bicep muscle and I can also hide it if I decide I really don't want to see it. All right. So let me close those. Now, another cool thing you can do is, is cycle through the layers. If you've already removed some things, though, this will delete your progress, essentially. But I'm going to show you this. It's pretty cool. I can click Open Anatomy Layers, and then I can cycle through all these different layers down all the way to the spinal cord, or I can make my, work my way all the way back to the muscular system here. Um, and so that's a cool way to, um, if you want to just get down to a certain layer, um, of the body. You can use that as kind of a cool starting point to do that. I'm going to add in all the layers back. And another option to do kind of a similar thing with a little bit more control is this open search. When you click that, it brings up a list of systems. And so you can start to toggle the systems off and on um, so I can get rid of the muscular system, let's say. Let's say I just don't want to deal with the muscles. I'm not interested in those. I want to get down to something else. Or, um, you know, let's say I don't want the digestive organs. I could toggle those off and so forth. And you can toggle organs back on. Let's say I want the lymphatic system. It was toggled off. And when I click that, now it brings back all those green lymph nodes. Um, they're a little bit hard to see there. They're there. So you can toggle systems off and on just to get the parts that you want of the system. Say I was taking a picture of the thyroid gland, and maybe 
I don't want all these blood vessels and all these nerves, but it takes a long time to get rid of those. I could just toggle off the cardiovascular system or I could toggle off the nervous system to, to give me a cleaner image. Now, if I want to show those things, if I want to show the nerves and blood vessels that connect to the thyroid gland, then I would want to toggle those back on. So it really gives you a lot of power to show what you want to in an image um, using BioDigital. Now, I can get a little bit more specific too. I won't get into this too much, but I can click open a section and then I can start to look at specific parts of that system. So there might be specific things I want to toggle off and on within that system and I can use that drop down menu to do that. But I can also always go back over here to the open explore tools and just start hiding organs that I don't want to see. Once you've got a pretty good image that uh, you want to show, so maybe you're doing, showing, you want to show the location of the thyroid gland and I've kind of got my image here how I want it. I can click the close search off and I can click this button that says edit in studio and that'll give us a little bit more um, customization options. Now it still has a lot of the same things. You can still go through and hide things. You can still zoom in and move the image around and all of that. So let me kind of zoom in here on the thyroid gland that I want to show. But I can also add a label. So I'm going to click the label button and I'll click on the gland that I want and it'll tell me that's the thyroid gland. Now maybe I want to add more. I want to say something about the thyroid gland. I can go come over here. I can click this and in the description I can say some things about it. I can say that it regulates metabolism. I can say that it receives input from TSH from the pituitary. I can say that it secretes T3 and T4 or whatever else I wanted to include in my image that I'm going to use here. There's lots of other options that you can go through and do as well. You can bold things and different things like that. You can also change the style of it, um, change the style of this. And I won't get into all of those customization options there though. So once I've got a really good image that I want to use then, um, there's different publish options down here, but what I'm going to do is do a partial screen capture. Um, and depending on which operating system you're using, Windows, Chrome, or Mac, there's different controls for that. In the description of this YouTube video, though, I'll put in there um, the different ways to do a partial screen capture, so you can check that out if you need to. I can do a partial screen capture, and then I can paste this in to whatever project I'm working on, maybe a, maybe a slideshow, for example. So this is how you can use BioDigital to get some really cool images and label things that you want to point out either for a presentation or to show students or other classmates um, for whatever it is that you're working on. All right, hope that was helpful and have fun making images with BioDigital. And of course, my own students, if you're watching this, then we'll use this in our next class um, for a project that we're going to work on. All right, see you then.